Let us begin. Let's pray. Father God, we give you thanks. The people of the world think that they have everything, yet they are not happy. 그 말은 세상 것으로는 그 행복을 채울 수 없다라는 뜻입니다. This means that they are not able to be happy with the things of the world. 무엇을 가졌을 때 행복한지 이 시간에 답이 나게 해 주세요. Allow us to come to the answer of finding out with what can we be happy. 뿐만 아니라 우리가 할수 없는 것을 하나님 주신 답이면 다 되는구나 결론 나게 해 주세요. Furthermore, allow us to come to the conclusion that with you everything is possible. 그리하여 24시 하나님 주신 답 그리스도 이름만 부르는 체질이 되도록 축복해 주세요. Would you bless us so we have the nature of calling upon you 24 hours in a day? 그 증거 가지고 그 응답 가지고 이 답을 모르는 자들에게 살리는 자로 다 쓰임 받게 해 주세요. Allow us to be all used to be the ones that where we can go out and save those who do not have this answer. 이 모든 것이 하나님의 은혜인데 하나님은 축복까지도 약속을 해 주셨습니다. This is all your grace and furthermore you have promised us your blessings. 이 땅에서 모든 부분에 100배의 축복을 줄 것이며 You are going to bless us 100-fold everything on this earth. 자손 천대까지 내가 은혜를 베풀 거라고 약속하셨습니다. And you have promised us that you would pour down our blessings a thousand times to our next generations. 그 축복의 주역들이 이 자리에 앉았습니다. The people of the figures of that blessing have been seated here. 오직으로 올인할 수 있도록 성삼위 하나님이 주관해 주시옵소서. Would you be upon us at this time so that we can go all in into the only? In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 <coughs> <coughs> 자, 보겠습니다. 아, 오, 오. 여러분, 여러분들은 자기 스스로를 자기가 생각하고 있는 기준으로 생각하고 보지 마세요. So you must not look at yourselves with the standard that you have. 말씀 들을 때만 하나님 기준 생각나고 평상시에는 내 생각대로 나를 바라보면 그거는 아직 그, 그 기준이 내 거가 안 됐다라는 증거예요. If you only think of God's standard during the time of the word and yet every other time you're thinking of yourself only in your standards that means that has not taken place for you yet. 하나님의 형상이다. 이 말은 굉장한 말이거든요. Because it's a tremendous thing to say you are made of God's image. 이걸 옛날에 불신자일 때는 뭐라고 생각했냐면 텔레파시 뭐 이런 생각했어요. When we were non-believers, I used to think that it meant some kind of telepathy. But it's not that extent of telepathy. God only gave His image to mankind. It says in Genesis 1:27. 요 요걸 넣기 위해서 사람을 어떻게 만들었다 그랬죠? And in order to do this, how did he make mankind? 흙으로 만드시고 뭘 넣었다? He made us out of the dirt, and then what did he put in us? 생기를 불어 넣었다. He gave us his living breath. 창세기 2장 7절. It says so in Genesis 2:7. 저 생기를 스피릿이라 한대요. And so that's what what they refer to as the spirit. 그럼 무슨 스피릿이겠어요? What kind of spirit is that? Holy spirit이죠. It is the Holy Spirit. 그래서 우리가 뭐가 됐다? So then what have we become? 생령이 됐다 그랬어요. We have become living spirits. 이게 사람이라고. This is what mankind is. 그래서 이걸 가지고 뭐라고 말씀하시냐면 우리는 전무후무한 자다 그래요. Then that's why Pastor Ryu talks about this as we are the ones who are unprecedented and never seen again. 여러분 DNA 검사하는 데만 전무후무한 사, 자가 아니에요. You're not only unprecedented and never seen again only in regards to your DNA. 범죄자 잡는 데만 <웃음> 전무후무한 자 DNA 검사하는 게 아니라고요. So that's not what happens when you uh, catch someone and you need to test for their DNA. 
나를 하나님이 만드신 나로 격상시켜서 생각을 해야 된다고요. That means you need to think about yourself as someone that God has made uniquely. 자기를 이렇게 생각 안 하시는 분은 자기 가족들도 그렇게 생각 안 해요. If you don't think about yourself this way, then you will not think of your family this way. 그러니까 남편도 우습게 보고 자녀는 더 우습게 봐 가지고 자살할 때 동반 자살하고 이런다. And that's why when you um, take a look at your husband and you won't see him that way and when you see your kids you'll think of, think of them even funnier and that's why some people they commit suicide as a group. 자, 전무후무한 자이기 때문에 응답이 전무후무한 응답이 우리에게 약속이 돼 있어요. And so because we are the unprecedented ones and never seen again, we have that answer promised to us. 믿습니까? Do you believe in this? 창세기 2장 1절에서 18절. Genesis 2:1 to 18. 창세기 1장 28절. And then Genesis 1:28. 요 말씀이 전무후무한 응답의 너희들은 주역이야 그 뜻이에요. So this Bible verse means that you are the main figure of that answer of the unprecedented, never seen again blessings. 에덴 동산을 정복해라 이 말은 지금 뭐 하고 갔죠? And so God says, take over the Garden of Eden. What is that equivalent to now? 세계를 정복해라 이런 것 같아요. To conquer the world now. 세계 정복을 뭐로 합니까? And what do we call that world conquering? In terms of war? 복음으로 해요. We do it with the gospel. 예수님이 왜 아직 안 오셨을까요? Why has Jesus not come yet? 아주 쉬운 간단하고 맞는 답이 있어요. There's a very simple and correct answer here. 와, 이거 이거 수진 씨 상줘야 되겠다. <웃음> 쉽게 얘기해서 전도자 때문에 하나님은 아직도 해를 돌리고 계세요. 지구를 돌리고 계세요. God is spinning the earth and allowing the sun to rotate for the evangelists. 우리가 몇 프로 안에 있다 그랬죠? What percentage of people are we within? 0.006 얼마예요? 예. It's 0.006 something. 그래서 전무후무 더 전무후무한 자야. So we are unprecedented and never seen again, but even more so. 요거는 이제 제자를 말하는 겁니다. And so that percentage means the disciples. 제자 외에도 하나님의 형상대로 지금 받은 자들은 다 전무후무한 자죠. And of course, even aside from the disciples, all those who are made under God's image are unprecedented and never seen again. 자, 에덴 동산을 정복하도록 만들어서 축복을 줬는데 그 he 축복을 기, 잃어버렸어. He gave us this blessing to conquer over the garden of Eden, but we lost that blessing. 창세기 1장, 창세기 2장 1절에서 18절 어, 에덴 정복. Genesis, Genesis 2, 1 to 18. It talks about the garden of Eden and conquering it. 깨진 사건이 뭐예요? What was the incident in which this was broken? 그게 창세기 3장 사건입니다. That is the incident of Genesis chapter 3. 그걸 다른 말로 원죄라고 해요. In other words, we call this original sin. 원죄이기 때문에 나는 선악과 보지도 못했는데 내한테까지 죄가 내려와 있어요. And because it's original sin, I have not ever even seen that fruit of knowledge of good and evil, and yet the sin has come passed down to me. 그런데 이런 거 목사님 아니면 알 필요도 없다고 생각했어 나는. I used to think if it was not for the pastor, then maybe I did not need to know about this. 그런데 왜 이걸 가지고 자꾸 얘기를 하냐면. But why do we keep speaking about it? 이 창세기 3장 문제 때문에 지금 현재 우리 모든 인류의 불행이 시작이 됐어. It is because of this Genesis 3 incident it, that we have all of our uh, daily life problems. 여러분, 돈 아무리 많이 가진 재벌도 필요 없어. 맞아요, 아니에요. And isn't it true that you don't need to know anyone who is a super rich con- conglomerate? 박사학위 한 100개나 가지고 있으면 하나님처럼 살수 있겠어요? And if, even if you have 100 PhDs, do you think you can live like you're with God? 아이러니하게도 오래 세상을 살아온 이, 인류가 남긴 속담이 있어. And so ironically enough there is a uh, some idioms that among the past few years we have heard. 많이 가진 많이 가진 자가 더 불행하대. People say the more you have the more miserable you are. 잠을 못 자. You can't sleep. 그게 왜 그러냐? Why is that so? 창세기 3장 16절에서 19절에 하나님이 아담 하와 불러 놓고 딱 얘기했어요. 그죠? So in Genesis 3:16 God calls Adam and Eve and he says to them very clearly. 근데 요걸 가지고 
유 목사님은 사탄의 열두 가지 전략으로 정리를 하셨어요. And with this uh, scripture, Reverend Yu organizes it into the 12 strategies that Satan uses. 그거 아시죠? So you guys know of this, right? 자, 근본 문제가 세 가지인데 There are three fundamental problems. 그거를 열두 가지로 또더 풀어서 정, 어, 정리를 했다고요. So what we did was he took them out and then he organized them into 12. 자, 요게 조금 더 이제 구체화된 거죠. So this is a little more specific. 첫 번째가 뭐냐면 the first one 근본 문제 세 가지가 있어요. There's the three fundamental problems. 자, 근본 세 가지는 우리가 좀 이따가 이제 할 거예요. So we're going to go into that a little bit later. 요거를 어떻게 말을 했냐면 창세기 3장 4절에서 5절. Let's take a look at Genesis 3, 4 to 5. 누가 누가 문제다? Who is the problem? 내가 하나님 되려고 했던 거. It's the fact that I tried to be like God. 그거 때문에 사실은 하와가 넘어갔죠, 그죠? 이 뱀한테. And because of that, it's actually why um, Eve fell uh, into deception of Satan. 그걸 가지고 사탄의 함정이라고 합니다. And this is what we call his temptation. 자, 나, 내가 하나님 되려고 하, 했던 사람들이 사람이 모이니까 어떻게 되냐면 And so then what happens when all these people who want to be like God gather? 야, 돈이 하나님이네. 이렇게 됐어요. Some people think, oh, money is like God. 창세기 6장은 여러분 아시잖아요. Because you all know Genesis 6. 하나님이 이 땅에 사람 지으셨음을 한탄했다고 그랬어요. And it says that the Lord saw that all of the people were uh, wicked. 얼마나 썩었던지. And they were just so rotten. 하나님의 아들들이 사람의 딸들의 아름다움을 보고 시집 가고 저 장가 가고 난리 나 버린 거예요. And so what happens is the sons of God came into the daughters of man and they bore children to them. 영적인 눈이 있다 없다. So that means that they have the spiritual eyes, yes or no? 그요 요 때가 무슨 시대였냐면 네피림 시대라 그랬어요. And this was the time of the Nephilim. 네피림의 뜻은 알죠. You know the the meaning of Nephilim. 하늘에서 떨어졌다 그런 뜻이에요. It means they've fallen from the sky. 사탄을 말하죠. It's talking about Satan. 요게 사회를 이, 이 시대에 벌써 완전히 잡, 사로잡은 거야. And so they've just taken hold of this age. 그래 되니까 전부 용사를 낳고 사회를 장악해 버리니까 사람들이 전부 다 여기다 무릎을 꿇은 거지. And so because they came and they bore children to them, um, they were mighty men and they were taking seas of that entire uh, society. 자, 창세기 11장에서는 또 무슨 일이 일어났어요? So then what happens in Genesis uh, 11? 바벨탑을 쌓았어요. They raised the Tower of Babel. 바벨탑을 쌓자라고 한 목적이 뭐였죠? What was the, the goal of raising this tower? 대가 하늘에 닿게 하여 우리가 흩어짐을 면하고 우리의 이름을 내자. It says, "Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be dispersed over the face of the whole earth." 하나님은 사람이 흩어지기를 원해요, 모여 살기를 원해요. Does people want people to be dispersed or all together? 왜 흩어지기를 원하죠? Why does God want people to be dispersed? 땅 끝까지 복음 전해야 되니까. Because you need to evangelize to the ends of the earth. 근데 딱 우리들끼리만 모여 살자. 요래 된 거야. But what happened was that they said let's all just live together in this small city. 요세 가지 사건이 근본 사건입니다. These are the three fundamental incidents. 그게 하나님이 딱 내려와 가지고는 어떻게 해 버렸죠? So then what did God do? He came down. What did he do? 이때까지는 언어가 하나였어. Until then there was only one language. 근데 언어를 흩어 버렸어. He confused their language. 서로 말이 안 통해. They could not speak to one another. 그럼 말 통하는 놈들끼리 이제 모여 가지고 이제 뿔뿔이 다 해, 헤어지게 된 거예요. And so they they became dispersed but within those who could understand each other. 이 사건만 없었더만 내가 영어 가지고 이런 스트레스 안 받을 건데. And so I think if it wasn't for this then I wouldn't be so stressed out because of English. 자, 요렇게 한 사탄이 그 다음에 두 번째로 이제 술을 쓴게 뭐예요? And so then this same Satan was the second thing that he did. 문화를 가지고 사람들을 이제 또 속이기 시작합니다. He's starting to deceive people with uh, culture. 
근본이 함정이었다면 문화는 틀이라 그랬어. If the fundamental is the temptation, then the this, um, culture is the frame. 틀 아시죠? You know what the frame is. 여러분, 여러분 다람쥐 다람쥐가 계속 채바퀴 돌리죠. And so the squirrels they always go into this, these circles. 왜 그래요? Why? 그틀 속에 넣어서 그래요. It's because they're within that frame. 우리 인생이 그렇다고. That's what our life is like. 틀에다가 딱 가둔 게 문화예요. And what we have placed within that frame is the culture. 자, 요 방법이 지금 어떻게 돼 있다? So what has become of this, this method? It says so in the Bible. 사도행전 13장 Acts 13 6절에서 12절 6 to 12 여기는 뭐가 나와 있죠? And what happens here? 점술이 판을 쳤어, 이때 벌써. And so there is a false prophet already. 그래 가지고 바 예수라 하는 자가 총독을 후려 잡을 정도로. And it was to the extent where there's somebody named Bar Jesus. He's a false prophet. 얘기입니다, It's a very old story. 이때 겨우 바울이 안디옥 교회를 세워 가지고 처음으로 성교를 떠났던 그 장면이에요. This is when Paul has first left to go on to his mission trip and to Antioch. 그 섬에 갔는데 그 섬에서 세상에 벌써 점수를 하는 사람이 총독을 다 사로잡아 버린 거야. And then they had gone to the whole island as far as Paphos and then they came upon a certain magician. 제가 미국에 처음 와 가지고요. 웨스트우드에 살았는데 백인들이 아주 그것도 뭐 박사들이 박사들 박사들이 주로 우리 그 가게에 많이 왔었어요. 근데 이 사람들이 점치로 다녀요. And so when I first moved here, I I was moving in Westwood and these great people, these uh, they were mostly Caucasian. They are all doctorates and they are going to get their palms read. 그 가게 해 가지고 망했지만 나는 확실한 백인들의 세계를 봤어요. But I saw that correct accurate culture of the Caucasians. 그것도 무슨 점인 줄 아세요? And do you know what kind of um, psychic it, it was? 미국의 제일 많은 점이 별자리 점이에요. It's the astrological um, readings. 너무 너무 우, 우습죠. 바보 같으죠, 그죠? 박사들이. <laughs> and it's so funny because they all have doctorates and yet they're going to get astrology readings. 자, 사도행전 16장에는 무슨 일이 있었어요? And then in uh, Acts 16, 16 to 18, what, what, what happened? 아예 귀신이 들려가지고 점치는 여자 종을 가진 주인이 난리가 났어. So there was a big uproar because someone who was a person of the Lord, uh, they were being used for um, the readings. 바울이 이 동네에 들어가가지고 전도를 하는데 와, 귀신 들린 여자 종이 사흘 동안을 바울을 따라오면서 지극히 높은 하나님의 종 어? 바울아 막 자기를 살려 달라고 막 소리 소리 지르는 거예요. And so they they go to evangelize over here and this person runs after Paul crying and saying, "Oh, uh, you need to help me out." 그래 가지고 귀신을 그냥 나가라 했지. 내 쫓아 버렸거든. And so then Paul just drove out the demon. 그러니까는 이 귀신 들린 여종이 귀신이 떠나가니까 점을 칠수 있어요, 없어요. And so now that that she has this demon out of her, she can no no longer perform her services. 점을 못 치니까 주인이 머리 화가 머리 끝까지 난 거지. 자기 수입이 끊어졌으니까. And she was so upset because she no longer had this income because um that her fortune telling skills were gone. 그래 가지고 그막 에베소 전세 난리가 나 가지고요. So there was a great uproar in the city of Ephesus, and then they threw Paul into prison. 감옥에 가뒀는데 어떻게 됐죠? 오히려. So then what happens in prison? 그날 밤 감옥에 바울이 갇혀 있는데. And Paul was in prison that night. 옥문이 열리고. But then the door is suddenly opened. 지진이 일어나고. There was an earthquake. 난리가 났어. There was a big deal. 그러니까 간수가 놀래 가지고 뛰어 와 가지고는. 얼른 바울을 데리고 자기 집으로 데리고 갔어. And so then the the uh, they come and then they come to get Paul and then they take him to their house. 그래 가지고 사도행전 16장 31절 그 유명한 말씀을 남겼잖아요. And so then there was the famous words there. Right? 주 예수를 믿으라. 그리하면 너와 내 집이 구원을 얻으리라. They said, "Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household." 간수가 간수 온 가족이 다 믿었거든. And so then that jailer, all of his family came to believe. 그내 같은 사람이 그 삼십일 절을 잡고 우리 아버지 엄마 예수 믿게 해달라는 기도를 
몇년 했지? 거의 40년 했죠, 40년. So about 40 years, I, someone like me, I held on to verse 31 so tightly in my heart praying that God would save my family. 바울이 나 그래 생각해요. 네 귀신 들린 여종 귀신 안 내쫓고 그 감옥에 안 들어갔으면 나는 응? 어? 16장 31절 말씀도 몰랐으면 난 분명히 실망하고 기도하는 거 포기했을 거야. And so I think that if I hadn't known about this whole thing where Paul had not gone to prison and he had not saved that jailer's entire family and I did not get to read uh, Acts 16:31 then I would have been so disappointed in the prayer. 자, 그다음에 사도행전 19장에 아주 유명한 말씀 나오죠. 8절에서 20절. Then, then there is a very famous word that takes place in Acts 19:8-20. 이거는 막 아예 도시 전체가 완전 무속인 도시야. And so then this entire city is just uh, Durano. It's Durano. 네. 2년 동안을 여기서 복음 운동을 했어요. So there was about uh, two years of the gospel movement here. 그랬더니 어떤 일이 일어났냐면 And what happened? 점쟁이들, 뭐 무속인들, 뭐 이런 사람들이 마술에 관한 모든 책이니 뭐 가지고 있는 장신구니 그런 거를 다 불태워 가지고 없애고 예수 믿고 이래 돼 버리고 all these people who were um, uh, seized or possessed or uh, had um, skills of divination, they all came and they got, got rid of all of that and then they came to believe. And it says in silver there was about 50,000. So it was a great big deal. 자, 근데 결과는 그래 됐지만 이게 뭘 말하는 거냐면 그 시대에 벌써 점술, 귀신, 무속을 가지고 사람들을 장악을 했다. 그 시대에 벌써 이 말이에요, 지금. And so basically what it's saying is that there was a time in this culture where there was divination and spirits as well as uh, magic arts and they were controlling the culture. 저는요, 이거 모를 때는요. 아니, 무, 무당 뭐 점치는 거 이런 게 나는 대한민국에나 있는 줄 알았어. Before I read this, I thought that it only took place somewhere here in the U.S. where we have things like readings and tarot cards. And so Satan uses this culture. So what is the country that is being most used for Satan's culture? Who is the country that's being most being used for Satan's <laughs> strategies? Dang. <laughs> it is America. Isn't that so scary? So do not forget this. New Age. It's the New Age. New Age is Hasang. And you guys know about the new organization. It means new. Uh, and so the new age, what they focus on is the person, the individual. God is human. So what they've done is they've just placed men mashed together all types of different religious ideologies like Christianity, Catholic, Buddhism, and then they just say God is human. 그러니까 빌 게이츠고 뭐뭐 뭡니까? 이거. 응? 스티브 잡스고 눈도 깜짝 안 해요. 자기들 가시예요. And that is why Steve Jobs does not blink an eye towards this movement because to them 거기에다가 he, he thinks that they're great. 프리메이슨 아시죠? And then you guys know the Freemason. 아, 프리메이스 이거 F가 나 자꾸 F라고 써. F 맞아요. P P 맞아요. F 맞아요. 응? 한글 쓰라 이게 길 길어서. <웃음> 이 프리메이슨이 원래 그 구, 구약 시대 때 장인들을 프리메이슨이라고 그랬어요. And so in the Old Testament, they refer to them just as the Masons. And so it was those uh, who had the technical skills. But they were just people back then. And as they grinded their teeth, 성전 짓는 거 전부 저거 손으로 다 하는데 저거는 천민 취급 받으니까 일을 갈면서 돈을 모은 거야. 
and so at, they were grinding their teeth as they tried to build up all these things but they were still being treated so unright so that they started to gather all their money together 거기에 이제 유대인도 한몫하죠. And then so we also have the Jewish community in there as well. 요세 단체를 합쳐서 뭐라고 합니까? And these three, what do they call them? 지금 계속 우리가 뭐 삼단체, 삼단체 이러시죠. We always talk about them. It's the three organizations. 그게 요거예요. It's these three. 여기 기독교를 대적을 하는 단체예요. And they uh, actively oppose us. 아, 사람을 하나님으로 만들어 버리는데 그리스도. And so they think that we, when we say we are human beings that come from God and we talk about Christ, they think it's very funny. 게시, it's, it even um, prophecies, prophesizes this in the Revelations. And it says in the end days there's going to be a uh, huge ordeal in regards to the Christians, the real Christians. 얘들은 지금 뭘 가지고 하냐면 문화로 다 장악했어요. And so right now they control everything with culture. BTS를 BTS 대도로 키워준 자가 누군지 아세요? Do you know who raised BTS to become BTS? 삼단체. It's that the organization. 그래가지고 얘들이 우리나라 사람들도 눈치 못 채는데 삼단체에서 BTS를 먼저 어디다가 불러가서 공연시켰어요? And so even our country UN. can't even realize this, but where did they go first? 옛날에 그, 그 뭐죠? 내 가수 이름 또 잊어버렸다. 강남 스타일. And even Sai who 싸이. did gang, um, Gangnam Style. 그, 그, 그것도 왜 그래 갑자기 유명해졌냐면 여기서 키운 거예요. Why did he suddenly become so famous? Because he was raised up by these three organizations. 지금도 대표적인 연예인 기, 기획사 이수만인가 이름? And so there is a Lee Suman who is in charge of the bigger agency groups. 그런 식으로 문화로 싹 장악을 했어요. And so they're taking control of the culture. 하버드생 뭐 공부 진짜 잘하고 머리 좋은 사람은 이 사람들이 싹다 낚아채 가지고 돈 대주고 하면서 공부 다 시켜요. And then so all these people who came out of the first class, uh, the top of their class in Harvard, all the people with um, great intellectual minds, these people have all been seized by these three organizations. 심지어 자기 어, 대통령 미국의 대통령도 여기서 키우고 있다 이런 말도 있어요. And there's even people who say that the president of the United States is even being raised up by the three organizations. 자, 요거는 지금 여러분들 이게 느껴져야 되거든요 피부로. So you have to be able to feel this. 우리 아이들이 지금 유, 이 속에 지금 살고 있고 이 속에서 이 사상으로 공부 배우고 있다고. And our children are being raised up in this. They are being taught with these ideologies. 자 그다음에 사회적인 것 빼고 개인은 어떻게 됐냐? And then so other than society, what is happening to the individual? 개인한테는 사탄이 완전 올무를 뒤집어 씌웠어. And so then there is the complete snare that Satan gives. 올무라는 말은 무슨 말이죠? What does snare mean? 그냥 머리끝부터 발끝까지 꼼짝 못하게 꽁꽁 묶어버린 거. It means you've been tied up completely from head to toe. You can't move. 그게 뭐예요? What does that mean? 불신자 여섯 가지 상태. It's the six states of the non-believer. 여러분 불신 여섯 상태 이거 처음에 제가 듣고요. 난 기절할 뻔했어. The first time I heard these six states of the non-believer, I almost passed out. 내 영적 주인이 누구다? Who is my spiritual master? 마귀. It is the devil. 그게 어디 나와 있어요? Where does that come out? 요한복음 8장 44절. It's John 8, 44. 너희는 너희 아비 마귀에게서 났으니 너희 아비의 욕심대로 너희도 행하고자 하느니라. 그는 처음부터 살인한 자요. 진리가 그 속에 없으므로 진리에 서지 못하고 거짓을 말할 때마다 제 것으로 말하나니. 이는 그가 거짓의 아비요, 거짓말쟁이요, 거짓의 아비가 되었습니다. You are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks of his own character because there is no truth in him. Um, for he is a liar and the father of lies. 자, 아비가 영적 마귀, 마귀, 마귀 사탄이니까 누구를 숭, 숭, 숭배하겠어요? So if your father is the devil, then who are you going to um, worship and serve? 우상을 섬기는 거야. You serve the idols. 여러분 우상 섬긴다니까 뭐 하나님 교회 다니는 하나님 자녀가 뭐 전에 간다 이 말입니까? So if I say idol worship, does that mean that the children of God are going to give um, worship at some temple? 우리 우리가 가장 지금 우리한테 맞는 우상이 뭐예요? 가장 많이 빠져 있는. What is um, the idol that we all most fall into? 
에베소서 2장 2절. It's Ephesians 2 chapter 2. 창세기 verse 3장 2. 4절 5절. Uh, Genesis 3:4-5. 그보다 더 기가 찬 거. And then even greater than that. 골로새서 3장 5절이에요. It's Coloss- Colossians 3:5. 탐심 it says your um, immorality. 뭐좀 좋은 말로 해서 탐심이지. 이게 사실은 뭐예요? But if we say it in nicer words, it's impurity. What is this? 돈, 돈의 노예가 되어 있어. It is money. 제가 늘 얘기하잖아요. 돈 누가 만들었어요? Who made money? 사람이 만들었어. It's man-made. 그래서 그거 잡혀 버려. And then people become so um, lost in this. 자 이렇게 되니까 정신 상태 어떻게 될까요? So then you are lost in this. What happens to your mental state? 영적 상태죠, 그죠? That is your spiritual state. 정신 상태라고 말하지만 영적 상태예요. We say mental state, but that is your spiritual state. 이건 완전 정신병이지, 정신병. And you're that you're just lost in complete mental illness. 그래가지고 마태복음 11장 28절. So then in Matthew 11:28. 수고하고 무거운 짐을 짠뜩 쳐서. All those who are weary and burdened. 예수님이 누구 보고 말했어요 이거를? Who did Jesus say this, say this to? 불신자 보고 한 말이 아니라니까. This is not something he said to an unbeliever. 하나님 자녀 보고 한 소리예요. He said it to those who are children of God. 수고하고 무거운 짐진자들아 다 내게로 오라. 내가 너희를 쉬게 하리라. It says, "Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest." 이는 내 몽양을 씻고 내 짐은 가벼워. <웃음> and he says, "My my burden is light." 쉬운 내 짐을 내 몽양을 안 메고 누구 지금 뭐 메고 다니냐 이 말이죠. So he's saying, how come you're carrying around this heavy burden? What is that burden instead of just carrying around my burden? 에베소서 2장 3절에는 뭐라고 했어요? What does it say in Ephesians 2 chapter uh, chapter 2 verse 3? 전에는 우리도 그 가운데서 다 행해서 육체의 욕심을 따라 진, 지내며 이랬습니다. And it says, among whom uh, we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body. 육체와 마음이 원하는 것을 하여 다른 이들하고 똑같이 본질상 진노의 자녀였어. It says carrying out the desires of the body and the man mind and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. 아, 고상한 말로 해놓기 실감 안, 가, 안 가죠. And so I'm using nice words, so maybe you're not coming to an understanding. 욕심이 가득 차가지고 마귀 마귀 자식들하고 똑같이 돈이라 하면 서로 죽이고 뜯고 난리가 났어 이 말이에요. And it means that you you living just like these non-believers, the, the children of the devil, because you're just tearing each other apart because you're focused on money. 어느 정도로 돌았냐면요. To what extent have people lost their minds? 돈 생기는 일 사람도 죽이잖아. Even people, they they will murder their family members, even their siblings. 자, 영적 상태가 정신 문제가 이래 와 버리니까 육신이 멀, 멀쩡하겠어요. And so then, if they have such mental problems, and do you think their physical state will be okay? 사실은 육 육신 문제가 벌써 이미 병들어 버린 거지. 그죠? And that means your physical state has already been diseased. 어느 정도로 병들었냐면. To what extent? 빌립이 사마리아 성에 내려가서 그리스도를 전파했는데 귀신이 떠나가고 여기까지는 이해돼. And so Philip goes down to Samaria and then he proclaims Christ and then the demons are fleeing. I understand up to here. 근데 많은 중풍병자와 안전뱅이가 고침을 받으니 그 성에 큰 기쁨이 있더라 이랬어요. But then it says for unclean spirits crying out with a loud voice came out of many who had them and many who were paralyzed or lame were healed and there was much joy in that city. 중풍병 안전병이는 육신의 병이에요, 아니에요? Because those who are paralyzed or lame, these are physical diseases. 그런데 그리스도를 전했는데 나 버렸대. But then Christ was proclaimed and they were healed. 사실 현대인의 모든 병의 거의 90% 이상이 원인이 다 어디에 있다? And so 90% of our physical sufferings, it's all from where? It's our spiritual state. 여러분이 복음을 전해가지고 영접을 시켜 보세요. 별아별 일이 다 일어나요. So try and evangelize to them and see get get them to understand and accept the uh, the gospel. There's going to be great things happening. 러시아에 가 가지고 보험 전했는데 안전병이 일어나 버리니까 그 목사님 착각을 해 가지고 자기한테 하나님이 자기한테 준 곳은 러시아다 이래 갖고 러시아 가, 가시려고 그랬어. <laughs> and so there was a uh, one person who uh, wanted to go and evangelize to someone over there and then they were able to heal someone who was lame, but then they had a misunderstanding. They didn't understand what was happening. 그 이미 성경에 있는데. And it even says so in the Bible. 
그 말이 아니죠, 그죠? And so that's not what this means, right? To just go and get healing somewhere. 자, 이렇게 살다가 이제 결국 어디로 갑니까? And so you live like this, and then ultimately, where do you go? 영적 배경. It's your spiritual background. 이 불신자의 영적 배경이 어디죠? Where is the spiritual background of those who do not believe? 어디로 갑니까 결국? Where, where do they go ultimately? 한번 죽는 것은 정한이지요. 그 이후에는 심판이 있으리라. It says you may die once, but then there is eternal judgment that you'll face afterwards. 그런데 심판 받고 나서 마귀 자녀는 지옥으로, 하나님 자녀는 천국으로 가요. And so after you receive the judgment, those who believe in God go to heaven, those who do not go to hell. 그, 니, 니, 그게 뭐, 뭐, 무슨 얘기냐면, 네 배경이 지옥이었어, 이 말이에요. What does that mean? It means your original background was hell. 우리, 우리 할머니가, 할머니 예수 믿, 예수님 믿어야 돼요. 안 그러면 할머니 지옥 가요. 이러면 우리 할머니가 뭐라고 대답한 줄 알아요? So then do you know what my grandma would say if um, people would say to her, Oh, my grandma needs to believe in the gospel because otherwise you're not going to go to heaven. 아이고, 괜찮다. 나는 벌써 이 땅에서도 지옥같이 살고 있다. 이랬었어. She used to say things like, Oh, it's okay because even while I'm living right now, it feels like hell. 그럼 자기 배경대로 가요. 자기 배경대로. So people tend to follow their background. 자, 보세요. 여기까지만 해도 무시무시하죠. And even up to here, it's also um, it's so vague. 저는요 하나님 자녀일 때 이걸 들었거든요. But I heard this when I was a child of God. 나 분명히 나 영적 주인 마귀 아니야. 나는 하나님 자녀야. 나 이거 있었어 구원의 확신. And so I had my assurance of salvation that I was a child of God. 그럼 나 절대 지옥 안 가지. 하나님 자녀니까 어디 가? So I'm gonna go to heaven, not hell, because I'm a child of God. 천국 빨리 가려고 자살 자살 기도도 했는데. I even tried to do a suicide prayer because I want to go to heaven faster. 근데요 나머지가 전부 내 거야. But then the rest of these problems they were mine. 너무 기가 찬 거. And I was just so um. I was just so in shock. 영적 먹어 버렸어. And here I was shocked. 영적 대물림을 한데 한데. There is a spiritual inheritance. 이걸 다른 말로 하면 후대 문제라 그래요. In other words, we call this a generational problem. 누구한테 물려준다? Who do we give it to? 사랑하는 내 아들 딸한테 물려줘. We give it to our loving kids. 어디에 나와 있어요? Where does it say so? 출애굽기 20장 4절 5절. It says it in Exodus 20:4-5. 마태복음 27장 25절. Matthew 27:25. 이거는 유대인들이 직접 말했다니까 이거는. This and this one, the Jewish people said it themselves. 간도 크죠. And so they they should not have said that. 이 피값을 우리와 우리 후손에게 돌릴지어다 이랬어요. They said we will pass this uh, this price down to us and our descendants. 지금 이스라엘이 세계 전체 나라 중에 최고로 고난을 많이 겪은 민족이에요. 그죠? And, and now the Israelites are the ones who have suffered the most out of everyone. 이 말대로 다, 다 됐다니까요. It is exactly as they said. 말 잘해야 됩니다. You have to be careful what you say. 불신자들도 그러죠. 말이 씨가 된다 뭐 이러잖아요. And then even the non-believers know they say that your words become your seeds. 나 이거 보고 충격 받아 버렸어. I was so in shock when I heard this. 나는 내 하나 고통 당하는 것도 죽겠는데 어느 날 보니까 우리 우리 저저 언영이 엄마. And so even my suffering is so great, but then I take a look at my daughter one day. 초등학교 6학년 때 합숙을 갔다 오더니 피아노를 치면서 그왜 우리 왜그 보금송 있잖아요. 어느 날 나는 알았네. 그그 그 보금송 피아노를 치면서 막 우는 거예요. One day in sixth grade she came home from school and then she was playing the piano with that one gospel song that we have that says one day um one day I realized, and she was just sobbing. 그왜 우냐 그랬더니 엄마 그래도 나 어, 정말 다행이야 내가 그러더라고. And then she says to me, Mom, uh, I think it's a relief. 뭐가? I said, What? What's a relief? 자기 죽고 싶었대. She says she wanted to die. 아무리 봐도 도저히 도저히 살고 싶은 생각이 안 들었대. She says that no matter how hard she thought about it, she did not have the thought of wanting to live. 엄마를 봐도, 아빠를 봐도, 아, 저런 게 어른이라면 나는 그냥 빨리 죽는 게 낫지 않을까. 그런 생각을 계속했대요. 
And she says she continuously had the thought of taking a look at me and then her father and thinking, if that's what being an adult is like, then I just would, don't want to live that long. I want to just die now. And so my household was not one that had such huge problems. But that's how children receive that spiritual, that, that evil spirit. And so then my heart sank and I thought it was a huge relief. So then this much I cannot allow it to go over. We're children of God. I have assurance that I'm going to heaven. And so then what's worse is that aside from the two things that I did know, all the rest of the problems were my problems. And even further than that, even when I'm not here, my child is going to be in pain. From then on, I just started to confess Christ every single moment. And even as I was grinding my teeth. Do you know what the first confession that I did was? It was Matthew 16, 16 to 19. I just kept confessing this. So then what ha- what's happened now? I'm so thankful. What am I holding on to? And now uh, Exodus 20 verse 6 is in my heart. And it says, But showing steadfast love to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. 나 그거 믿어요. 믿어져요. I believe that. 진짜 믿어진다니까? I truly believe this. 당대에서 최고로 피해를 받던 아이 둘이가 내가 생각한 것만큼 그 피해에 대한 기억이 없어. And so these two kids who I think had the worst um, complications in their life and now they have no memory of it. 나는 기억하고 있는데 그걸 다 잊어버렸어. I believe, I remember everything but they forgot everything. 내가 가장 치명적으로 아이들한테 고문을 했던 거를 다 잊어버리고 있어. And then the worst things that I think of that when ha- happened between us, they have forgotten it all. And so there, I asked and I placed a bruise on my daughter when she was so young because uh, there was an accident and then I placed stockings on her for a year because I was so scared that the people around us would say something. And so how much wrongdoing can a five-year-old do? And then when I think about it, she did nothing wrong. And so what happened with this one particular family is that it wasn't even her fault, but it was actually the mother's fault. She's so out of her mind at most times that she just took on the blame from her younger sibling. And so my son and daughter, they're three years apart. And so normally there's a, a, there's a lot of fighting when they're about two to three years apart. Especially in the case that the older sibling is a girl. I've never seen someone who loves her, uh, her little brother the way that my my um, daughter does. Ever since she was young. And so whenever David did something wrong, she'd always get in the way to block it, him. And so even if a two-year-old does something wrong, how much wrongdoing can they do? And so because the mom was trying to hit them at the time, that's why she got in the way. 
여러분 저는 진짜 이해합니다. And so I really understand. 영적으로 문제 있다라는 게 얼마만큼 처참하고 잔인한 건지 to 어디까지 갈수 있는지 저는 안다니까요. So I'm telling you guys that I really do know the uh, the meaning of having a spiritual problem that is so deep that you become that way. 그래서 나는 그 여자가 너무 힘들어 가지고 자녀들 데리고 왜 동반 자살하는 엄마들 있죠. And so you know yesterday I was thinking about those mothers who are having such a hard time because of their kids and that they go and have uh, commit suicide with their kids. 저는 충분히 이해해요. I understand that as well. 그렇게 돼 버려요. That's what happens. 지중신이 아닌데. Because they're out of their minds. 네. 아무것도 눈에 안 보여. You don't see anything. 근데 그런 사실들을 다 잊어버렸어 얘들이. But then they forgot all of this. They can't remember it. And even from younger before that, they remember other things. Who did that? It's God. All the things that you did before you knew the gospel, God takes care of everything. So if you have the thought that oh, I have really come to the conclusion of the gospel and I really want to go out and really start to share this now, you are a disciple. 그 제자의 자녀를 누가 책임지겠어? So then who takes care of the disciples? 하나님이. It is God. 하나도 기억을 못해. They can't remember a single thing. 그래서 제가 진짜 증인이에요. So now I am a true witness. 네, 저는 복음 전하는 것도 싫어했대 있잖아요. 그렇죠? I told you guys that I used to not like sharing the gospel. 그런데 뭐 그리스도를 누리다 보니까 뭐 <웃음> 자꾸만 증거를 주니까 자랑이 하고 싶어지더라고. <웃음> and so now that I'm enjoying the gospel and I'm really a witness, then I want to boast. 처음에 그리스도를 붙잡을 때는 내가 너무 갈급하니까 살기 위해서 붙잡았죠. And so at first when I held on to it is because I my life was it was in agony. That's why I held on to it for dear life. 그런데 그런 저에게 하나님은 증거도 주시고 사람도 살릴 수 있도록 해주시고 다 하나님이 하셨어요. And so God has allowed everything to work out in my favor so that I'm able to have this evidence and also be someone who can share the gospel. 제가 늘 말씀드리죠, 그죠? I will always say, uh, tell you guys. Romans 5:8절. Romans 5:8. 하나님이 우리를 향한 당신을 한마디로 딱 나타낸 구절이에요. It is what is one word that God wants to say to us. 그리스도를 하나님이 왜 주셨다고요? Why did God give us Christ? 우리를 사랑해서. Because He loves us. 그런데 그 그리스도를 어떻게 했어요? But then what did they do to this Christ? 죽이면 죽일 정도로 내가 너를 사랑해. 그거 보여 주셨다 이 말이에요. He's showing us that I love you to the extent where Christ will be killed. 근데 뭐를 용서 못 하겠어요, 우리한테서. But what can we what can he not forgive? 불러 주셨다는 거 자체가 벌써 다 용서하신 거죠, 그죠? And so even the fact that he has called us means he has forgiven everything. 예, 이런 그리스도를 여러분들이 24시간 어 누리기를 소원합니다라는 마음이 없다면 아직은 여러분이 그리스도의 사람이 아닌 거예요. So if you don't have the heart of thinking I really want to enjoy Christ all the time, then maybe you're not a person of Christ fully yet. 연애해 봤잖아요. You have dated before. 뭐내 꿈꿔 말할 필요도 없어. So you don't even need to tell me about it. 계속 생각나잖아. You always think of them. 근데 그리스도 한번 생각해 보세요. 계속 얼마나 생각나는지. But then think of Christ once in a while. See how often think of you think of Christ. 그게 여러분 시간대예요, 지금. That is your time schedule. 그 다른 사람 볼거 없어요. So there's no need to look at other people. 아직 그 마음이 없고 다른 게 바쁘다면 빨리 흑암 꺾고 그리스도 이름 계속 불러야 돼요. So if you're not doing this, then you need to hurry up and break down the force of darkness so that you can really think of Christ. 뭐가 제일 급합니까? What is the most urgent? 뭐 남기고 가실랍니까? What do you want to leave behind? 여러분은 내일이라도 하나님이 데려가 버리면 여러분 아이들 누가 책임지겠어요? So if God takes you tomorrow, who is going to take care of your children? 진짜 새로 하나님 앞에서 질문해 보세요. So ask again before God. 기도하겠습니다. Let us pray. 아버지 감사합니다. Father God, we give you thanks. 알지도 못할 때 그리스도를 보내 주셔서 믿어지게 해 주신 것 감사합니다. We give you thanks for sending us Christ for allowing us to believe in Christ at a time where we do not even know. 
지가 얼마만큼 그리스도를 제대로 알고 있는지도 모르고 있는데 그리스도를 또 누릴 수 있는 마음까지 주시니 감사합니다. We give you thanks for um, giving us the heart to want to enjoy this Christ at a time when we do not even know our spiritual states. 내가 응답받고 내가 살려고 그리스도 붙잡았는데 다른 사람을 살릴 수 있는 자리에 세워 주신 거 감사합니다. We give you thanks for raising us to be people who can save others with Christ even though we are merely holding to it for our own answers. 한, 하나에서 열까지 하나님이 다 주셔 놓고 또 자손 천대까지 내가 은혜를 베풀겠다고 약속하셨습니다. From 1 to 10 you've given us everything and you said that you would bless our children a thousand generations beneath us. 정말 원하옵나니 더 이상은 사단에게 속지 말게 해 주옵소서. Allow us to no longer be deceived by Satan within your plan. 24시간 그리스도 이름이 안 잊어버려지고 계속 불러질 만큼 그리스도 사랑에 오직하게 해 주시옵소서. Allow us to call upon the name of Christ and have this 100% only within the love of Christ 24 hours. 그 믿음과 그 누림을 계속 업그레이드 시켜 주실 하나님을 찬양합니다. We praise God who is going to consistently raise up and upgrade our love and faith for you. 하나님이 부르셨기 때문에 반드시 책임지실 줄 또한 믿습니다. And we also believe that because you have called us here, Lord, you will take responsibility for us. 감사드리며 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도합니다. We give you thanks and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.